it's easier than you think to find wild food where you're living. Obviously you've got to be careful, don't eat anything unless you're 100% certain of what it is. There are poisonous plants and mushrooms and things like that, but there are quite a few edible plants that you probably recognise already, so let's see what we can go and find. So I've just come for a little walk um, down the road from my house, um, I'm in a sort of abandoned bit of ground, and in this abused ground um, there's a plant called pineapple weed, let's have a look. So here it is. This is our pineapple weed, it has these frondy leaves and then this big yellow bud doesn't have any petals on it, it's just like this. Let's even a little bit closer, there you go. So this has got a wonderful, believe it or not, pineapple flavour, hence the name pineapple weed. Um, so the leaves and the flowers are good in salads. Uh, but my favourite thing to do with the, the flower buds is to make pineapple sorbet. Mmm, delicious. So now I'm at the coast and there is lots and lots to eat at the coast. There's loads of wild edibles. Uh, one of the most well known is marsh samphire. Uh, you won't find marsh samphire on a sandy beach or a rocky beach. Marsh samphire likes mud, as you can see here. Samphire's down here, let's have a look. So here it is, this is our marsh samphire. And it's these long, succulent like plants and they're kind of waxy. You just want to snap it off with your nail and you can see there that it's uh, it's solid. It's got a lovely salty, crunchy flavour. You don't want to cook it too much. Um, just a few minutes is fine. You can have it raw in salads. It's good in pasta, it's good in soup stews, um, stir fries, all things like that. There you go, my shampoo. So our next edible is a lime tree, or some people call it linden, and it's this one right here. Um, so it has these sort of rounded leaves with a toothed edge and a, a bit of a point at the tip. Um, so the young leaves, this one's quite a young one, if you hold it up to the light you can sort of see through it. Uh, there you go. Um, so these make a great lettuce substitute in salads. When they get a bit older and a bit tougher, you can stuff them with things like couscous and bake them, which is really yummy. It's a tiny bit early yet, but my favourite bit is the flowers. So they're not quite open just yet, but this leaf um, with the flower on is what you want to be looking for. These you can eat raw. Uh, they're really, really sweet once the flowers open. Um, they've got lots of little tiny creamy yellow petals. But my favourite thing to do with them is to dry them and add them to hot water once they've dried and make lime blossom tea, which is delicious and it also has calmative effects on the body, so it's a chill out tea. There we go.